so as I look to my right to see if there's any traffic or not, my Rura thingy, it increased the sound because it touched the back of my neck or whatever. The button got pressed. It's so stupid, man. Why would you put the buttons there? That doesn't make any sense. Stupidest design ever. It doesn't make any sense, does it? Every time you look down or up or whatever, if you got a jacket or something and it has a collar of any kind, it'll press the buttons on your Rue Rock. Either it'll close it, it'll increase the volume, or it'll decrease the volume. One of the three. Stupidest thing ever. And you, the buttons are so freaking small, you can't use your gloves because you can't even feel the button. So you got to pull over, take your glove off to adjust the volume. There's a remote, nothing like that. It's so stupid. So I got music blasting right now in my ears. I got to pull over and do fix that. Look at this dumb idiot Prius. I think that Jeep's turning around for me. Never mind. Thought you was a popo, homie. Thought you was a popo, homie. What is up, everybody? This is running insane out on the streets. Uh, Fasaliania. I couldn't pronounce that if I ever wanted to. We are back on them streets, homie. We are on Broadway, homie. We got the new camera, homie. We stuck behind a douchebag, homie. But it's a beautiful day, and I'm happy to be out here. So I don't really care who I'm stuck behind. I'm just happy that I'm out on this glorious day riding safely, calmly, within the goddamn speed limit. We're going 20 miles per hour. As you guys can see, the speed limit's over here at 100. But I ain't doing that, man. Is that a new mountain? Or it's just never been this green before? I don't think it's ever been this green before. It's been raining like a mug up in this hole, man. I don't know how riders ride without mirrors. I gotta constantly know what's happening behind me, man. And I'm not, I'm not finna turn around every five seconds. But yeah, so today is a beautiful day. Today is an amazing day, but today is an important day. Why? Because today's ride actually is the blossoming of my fruit of the labor that I use with these little fingers onto this bike, which is a Ducati V4, aka Broly. All right. So we did an oil change. We did an oil filter change. Um, we fixed up the battery. Uh, all issues. Not well, none, none of them were issues. The only issue that I did have was that if you guys saw my previous videos, well, any Ducati video, actually probably not because I still haven't edited a lot of it. I haven't edited a lot of it, but um, if you guys can notice, sometimes I had issues where I couldn't get into neutral when I was actually stopped. If I wasn't stopped, then I could shift gears, I could do everything, but if I was stopped, then I couldn't shift into neutral, let alone even other gears. It was just, it was too difficult. The reason for that was that even though, again, aftermarket levers, we'll talk about that for a second, a second. I had OEM levers. I pulled that hole all the way in where it was touching the grip and I still couldn't change uh, gears. The reason for that was the bike, wait, I gotta wait for this homie because spread love, spread love, not hate, he's spreading hate, I'm spreading love, man. Um, but overall, the friction zone was, the bike was never leaving its friction zone or it was constantly in its friction zone which means the clutch is engaged constantly so that's the reason I couldn't put it in neutral the fix for that was I thought it was going to be something stupidly hard it wasn't, it was something super simple, super easy it was that uh, there was air in the uh, brake system my question is I've never changed the brake fluid in this bike ever all right, and I never had to since I've owned it because the bike is still new and it doesn't have a lot of miles on it. But I don't know how air got into the system. So that's something I got to research and figure out that I thought air only gets into the system when you're bleeding the brakes and you do it incorrectly. But I could be wrong. Maybe that's one of the reasons, but 
It also could be because there's just somehow air is seeping into the system. So, ah, baby. I wouldn't really do that because there's two other cars up ahead of you. And I shouldn't do that either because my tires aren't warm. So, back on the ground if anybody wants it. My tires aren't warm, plus I didn't check behind me to see if any other rider was doing that. Plus I didn't check behind me to see if there's La Pule. See ya behind me or not. There's not, but still you never know. What was I saying? But yeah, so I gotta figure out how that happens. Maybe something I did wrong and that's why there was air in the system, but I wanna figure that out so there's not air in the system again. Cause that sucks. He had a little cool brake thing on his helmet. That was nice. A little brake indicator to show that he's, I think, turning or if he's just braking. Because lots of times when people are behind a motorcycle, they're looking at the rider, not the bike itself. So, it's a good design. It just looks ugly. And I wouldn't want it on my helmet. Plus, I got stuff on the back of my helmet, so I can't have it anyways. No front camera today because, again, today's more of a test ride to make sure that Broly is running the way that she should. I've been going through all my bikes right now, trying to get them all up to speed, doing modifications working on them basically these fingers again like i mentioned before in that r6 video that these these fingers aren't, aren't just for sexual context stuff right sexual pleasure i mean in the context of the sexual world it's not these fingers are slowly beginning to earn the geniusness the knowledge of working on bikes both of these fingers these hands fingers especially because well fingers are known to do great things and again i shouldn't speed and i'm not going to speed because i don't know Who's behind me? Because there aren't that mirrors and I have to constantly turn around and I don't like that. It's not my riding style unless I need to see a little bit more than I need to from my mirrors. I gotta keep shifting my buttocks to the side to look. Just a little bit, man. Just a little bit. And I know when I'm editing this footage, I'm looking at the footage and I'm like, wow, damn. Nice open road in front of me. You only blaze it a little bit. Why? Why saying why? Why aren't you going fast on this hoe? And the reason for that is simple, is that right now as I'm riding, it feels like I'm going really fast. Whenever I go like that, it feels really fast. But when you guys see it, it doesn't look that fast. So, you know, Cash 22, it's a conundrum. Figure it out yourselves. Watch the footage faster. Increase the speed of it. Even though I talk super loud, maybe that's gonna ruin the momentum and then, and, then, and then the pleasure of the video, but I don't know. But yeah, back to that stuff, the bike is running pretty well. I can shift gears. And again, it's more when I'm at a stop is where I had that issue. But I've stopped a couple of times before this video started and I was testing the bike out because at that time I don't want to be moto vlogging. I more want to be, you know, in tune with Broly, kind of feeling her out. You know, we've been doing a lot of plastic surgery. You know, we've been making her thicker and nicer and more good looking. So that's stuff that I got to do, you know, with her only. One-on-one -on -one time kind of thing. See, right now a car could be tailgating me. Right now there could be a rider behind me giving me the goddamn finger. Or there could be La Policia behind me. But I don't know because I don't got a mirror on this damn bike. So, which brings us to the next point. What is new with this bike? So, if you guys watched previous Bill Series episodes, and if you didn't, it's cool. I don't care. Watch it, don't watch it, I don't care. But if you have watched the old Bill Series episodes, or the previous Bill Series episodes for the legendary V4 Broly, then you know that we've been doing a couple of things. First thing we did was a radiator guard. Very important. I, haven't, I didn't ride the bike without one, so now I can zoom, zoom, zoom without any issues because I know I have my, my radiator and my oil thingy down there. They're both protected, man. That's the most important thing is protection. Not in all regards, but it's important to be protected. So whenever you ride in a rock or something, ricochets and hits your radiator or your oil area, it doesn't break. Or your oil guard. I don't know what that thing is called. Oil cooler. That's what it's called. Oil cooler, I think. That's what it's called. God, she is so smooth. She is so smooth. Um, but yes, yeah, so we changed that. I think I already mentioned that in a previous video, but um, that's been done. And then the next important thing was, uh, oh yeah, the tail tidy kit. So I'll get off the bike and show you guys that. So the main reason I don't have mirrors on the bike, which I do have, I just need to install them, um, was that I used to have these mirrors that were over here. We got rid of those OEM ones. They had turn signals in them. So now if you look over there, I'm gonna turn left. You see this? It blinks. And then I'm gonna turn right. You see it blinks. So we got the integrated turn light signals and a tail tidy kit. 
So that big huge fender, we don't have that anymore. But what does that mean that we don't have any rear camera angle anymore either? Because I gotta find a place to put that. But I need to wrap the bike so I don't wanna put a GoPro mount on it just yet. Because if I put a GoPro mount on it, then if I start riding, I don't wrap the bike, I have to take it off, it'll be a waste of a GoPro mount. First world problems, man, first world problems. You know, I, I really thought that I could be a guy who could ride without mirrors. I'm just not that guy. Because, well, the difference is that if you want to ride without any mirrors, then you got to consistently look behind you. I don't want to continuously look behind me. Wait, 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 turn, 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 turn. Bye, slide! My voice, I was out riding the other day, and I went kind of ham on it with the voice. So right now, I'm kind of like, I'm not there yet. Like, my voice is still in pain. So I can't really scream at you guys. But the enthusiasm is there. I just can't scream at you guys because it hurts my goddamn throat, man. It hurts my goddamn throat. Also, we're at the very lowest mode there is. Um, lowest engine output. We're in street mode right now. I told baby Broly that, hey man, I haven't ridden you and your fine ass booty in a long time. So we're going to take it a little slow today. We're gonna take it a little slow today, so I kept it at the very lowest power level that she could possibly have, which is, as you guys can see, extremely fast. Um, what else, what else, what else? So yeah, we have that, so I gotta put those mirrors on there. But these are from Futurist Moto. Link's in the description below. If you guys look at the bottom of my description, it says honorable mentions. Um, I listed that company there. That area is basically for companies that I really enjoyed working with. The stuff they made was really amazing. And I want to mention them, you know, just kind of like an honorable mention kind of thing. So I added that down below. It's I don't get paid from it or anything like that. I just wanted to mention the company because I really like the part. So yeah, that's that. See now the test is gonna be can we turn oh he's gonna open anyways, never mind. Yeah, see he's gonna open. And then the next thing is the levers. So the biggest thing that I was complaining to you guys about was that the OEM levers suck booty. And they really do suck booty, man. If you've ever had an OEM anything on a bike I will, regarding levers, rear sets are usually garbage because they're not as adjustable as they should be. You know, as my body type, thick booty, big booty, uh, brown boy, not everybody's like that, right? Everybody's a little bit different, so I'm a little bit different, so I'm gonna sit on the bike a little bit differently. My body style, my physique, everything is different than, you know, regular normal people or the average person and the average person's body is different than mine a power lifter body is different than mine my body is different than a crossfitter kind of get what i mean everybody's body type is different so you gotta have that's the reason aftermarket stuff is awesome because you can get adjustability and that's the biggest thing that i need is adjustability i want to show you guys that i can get it i can find neutral but i can because the bike won't i, I can't i can't find a red line on me today man even if this dude speeds i won't speed with him you run a face mask in a convertible at least no cap i still gotta adjust these i've installed them and i think they're beautiful that's gonna be the color we're going for is the brown accent on this bike and then the bike gets wrapped we'll have other stuff coming on the bike but yeah the first accent color is uh is brown bronze not brown bronze as you guys can see see now in this case i just look at the mirrors and i turn but i can't see behind me and i don't want to keep looking behind me because that's just so boring and it ruins the ride. Well, yeah, it's gonna be a short ride because I wanna put mirrors on this bike. I don't like riding without them. I really don't like riding without them. And lane swing right now, I always need to know what's happening behind me. And if I can't know what's happening behind me, then it kind of ruins it. So watch, first, boom. Neutral, so simple, so easy. So easy. So easy, so simple. What's up, dog? Dude has Santa Claus on a Harley. But see, I want to know what's happening behind me, but I can. It's impossible. All right, it's, just, it's literally impossible. I can't see what's happening behind me. Could be a cop. Could be a hottie. Could be a supercar. Could be a rider, and I won't know because I can't see behind me. This is so garbage. Why did I even get under the influence of people on on YouTube riding without mirrors? It is the stupidest thing ever. What's happening behind me? I don't know. It could be a twerk contest happening right behind me. Big booty shaking it up, and I don't even know I'm missing out on it because they're on that mirrors that show me what's happening behind me. I've always wanted to ride these just so I can crash one and have the world have one bus of those trashy motorcycles or uh, bicycles or whatever they're called, tricycles. 
I think they have three wheels. And I have something over here that's really hitting me on my side. And again, I want to see behind me. Open road, but I don't know what's happening behind me because the last time I looked behind me was like three seconds ago. A motorcycle cop or La Policia is pretty quick on a cruiser. Man, we're gonna turn. I don't wanna. I'm not enjoying this ride as I would without mirrors right now. But I do wanna show you guys the bike. I'm gonna get off the bike and show you guys. We got the new levers. I still gotta adjust them. The friction zone is like super out there and I don't like that. I wanted to be a little bit more in, but it's supposed to be adjustable, so we'll figure that part out. But until then, we're just stuck with, you know, the way that it is because I'm just so stupid. I don't, I don't know why I never do this stuff before I ride or before I start making the video. I end up just being an idiot and starting off the ride and not having anything set at all. And that's why sometimes I just hate myself. Even though I love myself more than anything, sometimes I really hate myself and I hate my guts. I barely look behind me. I gotta be honest. I barely look behind me. pull over somewhere but right now everybody's getting off of work so them hoes is every everywhere is packed and the place that I choose to turn out is a huge ass pothole I want to kind of have a secluded little place all to myself right now I want to find a secluded place man nah this place isn't secluded as I want it to be We'll go on the other side. Maybe that side is. That kind of that place kind of seems like it. I'll take that. 